everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome to another video today is a quite exciting one at least for me this is something that i wanted to put out as quickly as possible for you guys to get your hands on it um, but i must say it was a long time building it um, there were some problems with it that i will talk about in a bit but overall it was a lot of fun now a few little disclaimers first this house has no cc so if you see many objects that you are not familiar with there's a lot of debug items which is a hidden menu that you can access with cheats on the game that is basically items that the sims team uses to build the worlds you know the things that you see around so those would be those items there's also quite a lot of paintings those are also not cc those are gallery paintings that is a nice tip for you if you need more paintings or photographs or things like that you can just go to the gallery and just search for artwork and a lot of things will come up and they are absolutely stunning some of you guys are really really creative and those really help out especially in the house this big because i would end up repeating paintings over and over so this way we can give individuality to different rooms of the house now this tv show i watched it until season two a few years ago then at some point i lost interest and i stopped watching and now i am re-watching again and i am in season two again so no spoilers in the comments um it is a very good tv show but once the 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 season once they showed images of this farm i just knew i had to build it it is lovely it is beautiful stunning um and as always i recreated the outside but the inside i took some creative liberties so the inside is all me there's nothing to do with how the house is on the inside so don't look at that but the outside i wanted to make it as to resemble as closely as possible to the real thing but the inside is all me so the house ended up having i believe it's six bedrooms and seven bathrooms and there are still two empty rooms there were just two extra rooms that just left empty because i did not know what to put in it and i was just running out of gas to be honest and i just left it i mean you can add things that you need to for your own gameplay in those rooms one of them even has a uh, a bathroom attached to it so if you would need another bedroom for some reason um, you can have it there now this all started and me going into this universe of the walking dead once more it started due to tiktok um, i mostly like every video on my feed unless it's something really bad that i don't want my like on it uh, i usually like all of them so i suppose at some point a the walking dead tiktok popped up and i liked it and i am now deep in the daryl dixon um thirsty fans club <laughs> i was not but i started liking so now my feet is just daryl up and down you know you can scroll and i must confess in the beginning i was like huh really but now watching the tv show i am slightly changing my mind and i am starting to understand the appeal a little bit um all of that to say that <laughs> i have built their little camp at the front as well so this house consists of the main house uh, it has the barn wink wink um, of course this barn has just like you know like old junk and boxes and things that you would keep in like a storage area i suppose so it's used like for storage but if you do have any skill building items you can put them in there as well or you can you know revamp it and make it into something completely different 
There's also a little campsite at the front, it just has a lot of tents, it has a fire pit, it has like the fake fire pit, which is the one that has like the little spit on top, like you were cooking something. Um, it also has some fake clothing lines, and then of course we have the caravan. Now, I quote me, no, not quote me, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, I believe that the difference between the caravan and the motorhome is that the motorhome you have to attach it to a car and the caravan is a car in itself. But in The Sims, we do not have the one that has the car attached to it. We just have the little motorhome, that, the little trailer house that goes in the back. So I did put a little truck in front and then I put the little motorhome in the back. Um, I tried to insert the car and make it look like it was all attached, but it, the scale was all wrong and it just looks very bad. So I decided to just leave it as it was. Uh, but how lucky are we that we do have that in The Sims and that is a debug item, by the way. Um, if you go and you scroll through your debug items, you will see there's so many things, beautiful things that you normally don't have access to. There is landscaping and little walls and fences and like a million different things that you can use to decorate and really make a house feel very lived in that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise, especially if you only have the base game or only have a few packs, you know, take full advantage of that and you know use the cheats to unblock that uh like i've been saying my last few videos if you do download this you need to have the move objects cheats on that's very easy to do you can google it on how to do it because i do intersect objects quite a lot and if you don't once you place this lot in your world a lot of items will completely disappear and that will be no fun so do that. Um, also, this houses, this houses, this house uses a million different packs. I did not restrain myself at all. Some packs it might just be like one or two items, but once I am recreating a house, I want to make it look as similar as possible. My gosh, my neighbor he draws very loudly. <laughs> um, so I will use the thing that is the most similar to the one that I'm looking for. And so I do not pay attention to that. Uh, but I am paying more attention to that and videos coming forward that are not recreations. I am limiting the packs that I use. So in the comments, tell me below which packs do you have or which packs do you think that most people would have? I would think that the most popular one would be the seasons because it's the one that adds the most gameplay and like a lot of atmosphere to the game but i'm not sure so do tell me in the comments down below now today is quite an important day for me for a very particular reason today marks two months since i have stopped smoking and if you are a smoker or if you have been one you would know how hard that is and what a achievement that is i am only 32 years old but i was a smoker for 20 years because i started smoking once i was 12 years old that's extremely bad <laughs> but um 20 years of my life i've been a smoker a very heavy one at that and two months ago i was able with the help of vape to switch it off and now i'm completely nicotine free and not a non-smoker for the first time in my adult life and i am super chuffed with it i am noticing a lot of differences in tasting foods and smells one of the things that i most used to love is like creams and body lotions the scent i used to love the most was coconut and nowadays i hate the smell of coconut for some reason it just looks sound uh, not looks sounds oh my gosh it smells it smells very different i don't understand i speak english perfectly fine unless i am in my daily life but the moment i come to my computer and i press record it's like my tongue just 
twists within itself and I just say everything wrong so I do apologize uh, that's just something that happens to me at times also I am quite stuck in what to build next um, I have done a lot of different kinds of houses lately I have done modern and um, traditional and some recreations like this one. I did the house uh, of Scott McCall from Teen Wolf. Um, so I am quite stuck right now in what I want to build the next. So if you do have any ideas, uh, it doesn't have to be a recreation of a TV show or a movie that you like. It could be just a genre or something because I am running very low on ideas, so I need some inspiration. Uh, I usually get it from TV shows and stuff because I just watch it and I have this thing where I find American houses because I suppose they're very different from European ones. I find them very beautiful and very different looking so I really like building them so my houses are more like Americanized I suppose um, and that's just the, the thing the style that I tend to go for like very American suburban style or American Victorian style um, but if you do have any other ideas leave them in the comments down below now this house has six, six bedrooms like I said three of those are more more like geared towards children i wouldn't say they're very infantilized but a little bit uh one i suppose is more teenage uh for teenager and then two of them are like for proper little kids um then you have two bedrooms which have the ones at the front of the house they have the most massive bathrooms I have done in some time like the bathrooms are really really big and even this I mean look at this bedroom sometimes this whole bedroom is the size of a whole house for me my houses they tend to be very large but each room tends to be smaller more conservative size because even in my personal life I rather have many different rooms and then being smaller than have one very large big room it just feels very empty and very hard to furnish uh, but here it makes sense I mean you live in this big huge house a mansion <laughs> so you would have a lot of space um, and you know I contemplated in the beginning trying to make it look like the house from the show on the inside but then you know I just had all of my packs and I just went crazy because I just got the um, the um, high school years pack not too long ago and I hadn't used the traditional beds in that yet so I went all crazy with that bed I absolutely love it is it something I would have in real life god no horrible I don't like traditional um, for myself but here in the Sims is beautiful is this bed right there um, and I absolutely loved using that bed and I use it in many 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 bedrooms <laughs> in all different swatches of course um, I loved that with that pack they added a lot of patterns and they added a lot of green pa uh, green colors and a lot of like leafy patterns which is thing that I just naturally gravitate towards I really like that uh, so I went all crazy with this house and you know I am crazy plant lady so there's plants everywhere like everywhere even in my own life <laughs> in my own personal life in the last I would say in the last month I bought about I would say six seven eight plants uh, my house is a mix between fake plants but really good fake plants and cheap real plants uh, so there's a compromise there <laughs> so my whole house every room of the house even my kids bedroom bedrooms there's plants everywhere the bathroom the corridors there's just plants everywhere because it just brightens up a space and I wouldn't be able to 
build the house and not add a lot of plants in it in this kid's bedroom i i don't add it because it just doesn't make sense but see there's grass on the wallpaper so <laughs> i suppose there is some a little bit of green in there i suppose so this bedroom i made it for two sims so this house it can accommodate all of the sims you want even you know i think some people play with the mods where you can have more than the normal amount of sims which is eight um so if you do play with that mod this house would be perfect for you oh also there's a little patch in the garden a, a little garden patch where you would grow your own food um i didn't grow that by the way because i don't have patience but again you can go onto the gallery and just search for uh, crops and it will just come and they're all grown so that is just wonderful so i just add it in there there's a lot of fruit trees and avocado trees or whatever and a lot of also vegetables and fruits and things that you can grow uh these silos as well there's two of them um and that is it there just for decoration just to look pretty i suppose there's also a few little bird boxes in there so you can have your own birds and also in the tv show they said that they had free wells on the property also again wink wink um to the wells but i did add free wells in on the lot and there's also if you want to make this lot a off the grid one there's also water collectors and a few scaled down solar panels on the roof i love this kitchen by the way i had pretty a lot of fun doing this um i don't know what you do once you build it but i like watching crime documentary podcasts so i watch a lot of uh, stephanie harlow and i was watching not watching i was listening to her podcast on youtube whilst building this i'm just watching it over and just reminding myself of what i was listening to anyways i hope you enjoyed this again if you do have any ideas of other houses that you would like me to build do leave that in the comments down below if you do want to download this or any other of my houses then you can find me on the gallery using hashtag sims designs or hashtag sims designs yt thank you and i will see you in my next video bye